Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today uh, we're going to be discussing the Xbox Scarlet and Halo Infinite, which there was some new stuff shown about at E3. E3 literally just happened not all that long ago. I actually recorded a video right after E3 happened, which I didn't even like that video now. It was just so unplanned and I don't know, I didn't like it, so that's why I'm going to be re-recording it. And also, by the way, during E3, I was actually going to be doing a live reaction to it, but then that ended up failing due to the fact that uh, my laptop kept on lagging and just everything ended up failing. So, yeah, OBS crashed, Google Chrome crashed, so I couldn't really do a live reaction to it, so I just watched E3, and uh, yeah... So let's discuss first off the Xbox Scarlet. Now, the Xbox Scarlet was shown off at the end of the show, and uh, there's a lot of cool things to look forward to about it. So it is 40 times more powerful than the current generation of consoles, and it will run native at 4K 60 FPS, which means that I don't think there will be 30 FPS anymore. I think the minimum standard for the Xbox Scarlet will be 120 frames, oh wait, sorry, 60 frames per second. That is right, everyone, 60 frames per second, 4K, and it can go up to 8K, 120 frames per second. That is right, 8K. So gaming on consoles is now going up to 8K, guys, 120 frames per second. I think 120 frames per second will be like the maximum uh, FPS you can get and 60 FPS is the minimum which I think is really good since 30 FPS is okay with the current generation of consoles PC with the next generation uh, 30 FPS it just won't feel right at all 60 FPS feels like a minimum standard these days and whenever there's a game that's like 30 FPS you can tell it's choppy and just yeah 60 FPS is a lot more better and uh, I can't wait till the Xbox Scarlet comes out. There's a lot more things that was discussed as well, and I will show you a video here of the Xbox Scarlet and some things to do with it, and here it is right here. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability. Variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally... So yeah, pretty cool. And now let's talk about Halo Infinite. Now, something that I actually forgot to mention about the Xbox Scarlet before was the fact that it's going to be releasing in holiday of 2020. But something else that was also announced alongside coming at the same time of holiday 2020 is Halo Infinite, which will release as a launch game for the Xbox Scarlet. So it is going to be the first launch game that will be launched with the Xbox Scarlet, which is pretty cool, and I can I cannot wait. So there was some speculation around the Halo Infinite release date. In fact, there has been a lot of speculation since last year's trailer that first released, right? And a lot of people have said end of 2019, end of 2020. Well, it looks like the end of 2020 is when it's going to be releasing, as like I just said before, holiday of 2020 is when Halo Infinite will be releasing, which means that we should be seeing more stuff at next year's E3, as at this year's E3 there wasn't much shown, but there was a pretty cool like six minute trailer, which even though it's six minutes long it doesn't show much, it's pretty vague, and it did make me ask a lot of questions. Now I will be showing snippets from the trailer, some of the most prominent parts of it that I really thought were mysterious and were like the most important parts of the trailer, so here they are. Pressure building in lines 4, 17, and 33. Pressure building in lines 4, 7. Protocol accepted. Breach 
Can you say see you? See you. Good and bye bye. Bye bye. This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC... Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, big guy. You're not... Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think we're here, Ace. No, 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 Not then! Not again! We need to run! No. We need to fight. Get ready. But overall, the trailer was really cool, as you all just saw there. And it, it, it's really confusing at first, because when I first saw the trailer, right, I'm like, alright, so they've announced the release date for Halo Infinite, and now they're showing this trailer. Is this Halo Infinite? Because it doesn't look like it to me, you know, that first clip that played with that guy sitting down in, in the ship, you know, it didn't it didn't look like Halo to me. But then I saw the UNSC logo on his arm, and I'm like, oh, wait a second, this is Halo, okay? So this is weird. This is like a whole new art style we're seeing here. And I actually really like Halo Infinite's art style, you know, especially the Chief's armor, which, by the way, uh, it isn't even his classic armor. It's a Generation 3. So the Gen 2 armor, in case you don't know, is basically the Spartan 4 armor. But Generation 3 is the new type of armor that Master Chief is wearing, and whilst it's in the classic style of his old armor it's not his old armor if you know what i'm saying so it's in its style but it's not the old armor it's a generation free as i saw a tweet from duquesne 23 basically showed like a screenshot from the trailer which shows that the armor is a generation free so it's new armor but it's just in the old art style and i really do think that is cool since the armor does look pretty new and it looks really cool as well. The graphics in Halo Infinite are going to look amazing. The in-engine footage is great. And so, yeah, everything to do with Halo Infinite just looks great at the moment. Now, when I watched the trailer, like I said before, I was blown away. And, uh, and I was asking a lot of questions. I was asking myself a lot of questions. Like, is this going to basically make Halo 4 and Halo 5 non-canon? And now I want to explain this point since it needs some context. So when I was watching the trailer, right, when it mentioned the part like, oh, we lost, like, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, now I'm really confused here. Like, what did they lose to? And then as they showed more stuff, I'm like, wait a second, is this, the, is this a continuation from Halo 3? Are Halo 4 and Halo 5 pointless now? Are they non-canon? But now I've thought about this more, and it's like, nah, that can't be the case. Because even Xbox and uh, Halo themselves have even said on Twitter 
that like this is the next chapter in the quote-unquote legendary franchise which when you think about it it is a legendary franchise but they say it's the next chapter meaning that halo 4 and halo 5 yes they are still canon so this is the next chapter in the franchise otherwise they would say something like oh so this is like a reboot from halo 3 or something they, they would say something like that you know to point out to th that that's what's going on that halo 4 and halo 5 you know scrap those you know those were mistakes in our past and so we're going to be restarting from here as like a reboot for the reclaimer saga you know what i mean so yeah but halo f halo infinite is going to be a pretty good game uh everything just looks so good so far from the trailers that we've seen sure they're pretty vague but just it seems promising it really does and I really like Halo Infinite's art style, the graphics are amazing, everything to do with it is amazing. In fact, I've actually liked Halo 5's art style as well and Halo 4's. I really do like how Free for Free Industries do their art styles, it's pretty cool and it's nostalgic in a way as well. I mean, now when I look back on Halo 5, you know, when I first started playing, I'm like, these car these cartoons, sorry, these graphics are a little bit cartoonish in a way, but then I look back on it, you know, especially with the Xbox One X, the graphics look a lot more better, and I look back on it, I'm like, oh wow, the art style's actually pretty good, you know, it just, it, it, yeah, it's one of them things that you have to really take a look at, if you know what I mean, but yeah, um, I could go in more in depth about the trailer and my thoughts about it, but overall, it's, it's really cool, I really do like the trailer, and it's really mysterious, I like how these last two trailers for Halo Infinite, you know, they have like a mysterious tone to them, like, oh, what's going on here, how did they lose, you know, and it basically shows that in this trailer, like, oh, how did they lose, what's with the Halo ring, why is it all destructive, is it showing, like, a later point in the game, because from the first trailer, you know, everything looked fine, like, they were on a Halo ring, and it looked pretty open world, but then you see this, and it's like, is this, what is, what's going on now, like, weren't they just on a Halo ring, like, yeah, it's really confusing, sorry guys, I'm probably just uh, go going on with all this stuff, but yeah, it's just really confusing, it gets you asking those questions, even if those questions are stupid, like what I just said before about the Halo 4 and Halo 5 being non-canon, that's how, that's something that I actually mentioned uh, when I was recording the last video about t 20 or so minutes ago, right? I brought this as a, I brought this up as a big point, like, alright guys, so here's what I think, Halo 4 and Halo 5 are non-canon now, but then later on I'm like, nah, nah, you know what, scrap what I said, and yeah, that's one of the reasons why I actually didn't uh, do that video, because, like, it's just so unplanned and it was too soon as well, you gotta wait till, like, more info comes out, if you know what I mean, but yeah, so anyways guys, um, that is the end of this video, uh, are you excited for the Xbox Scarlet launching in holiday of 2020? It will be 40 times more powerful than the current consoles, and it can go up to 120 frames per second, and I'm pretty sure 60 FPS minimum. So 4K native, 60 FPS, and it can go up to 8K, 120 FPS. And then you have Halo Infinite, which will be launching as a launch title for the Xbox Scarlet. And so, yeah, and the trailer is pretty cool, as most of you would have seen. And I really do love it, and I'll, it's really mysterious, and that's what I love about it. You know, I want to make more videos kind of discussing Halo Infinite as well, and things to do with the trailer, maybe, if more info comes out about that. And so, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all soon. Thank you all for watching.